The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey Data Free. Thank you, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you want on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you searching for this week? Okay, so this week, I'm following up on... Last week, we showed off the RP2350 Metro design that we did, um, and that is working out great, getting the PCBs. And one thing I did, which... Uh, I had a couple people be like, what's up with that? It's like, why Why did you have... So these are the capacitors for the um, RP... Uh, sorry, the flash memory, right? I have like 1.1 1. 1 microfarad cap here and one here for the PS RAM and the flash. And it's like, why are they over here? Don't you want to be like tucked right in next to the 3.3 watt line? And I didn't actually on purpose because I wanted to make enough space here for an SOIC clip to grab onto. This was a request... Uh, by Tan Newt, who um, is on leave right now. But he was like, you know, if you're working on this, can you like please make it so I can clip on? Because when we're debugging a board, sometimes it's good to be able to see what, like especially when it like hangs, it's good to see like what was the last thing that the RP2350 tried to do on the flash or PS RAM. Especially when you're trying to get PS RAM up and running, you're like, is the PS RAM being activated? Um, you want to be able to to look at it, make sure that the speed is correct and the commands are correct, and especially like flash memory. Sometimes you have to like when you in, when you first turn on flash memory, you have to like put it into like a mode. You want to make sure it's going into quad mode, for example, because otherwise, if you're only in dual mode, you are not getting the full bandwidth of the chip. And so um, I added a bunch of clearance here, both between here. You know, I tried to do my best to let it be possible to clip on a clip. And then I realized I didn't show people about SOIC clips. These are brilliant inventions. They're very handy, especially when working with flash memory on a device where you want to dump the flash off. That's really common. Remember, like a lot of times people are configuring motherboards or Wi-Fi routers or like game systems or all sorts of stuff that uses eight pin SOIC or I squared C E prom or flash. It's so standard. It's so standard. And SOIC packages are the most common. You're not going to see dip and often people don't go for, sometimes they go for the smaller packages, but SOIC, they're so cheap, so available. Um, also, if you're doing single board Linux computers, sometimes you actually use like your boot partition as flash. You can flash it directly. So let's go to DigiKey. And let's look up uh, SMT clips. It's a weird category. I was like, where would it be? But it actually turns out, I think it's its own. It's not under holders. Maybe it's under SMD clip. Oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. Let me search for SOIC clip. It's under IC clips, not SMT clips. Sorry. So this category, um, so what's cool is, I'm not going to get into it, but you can get like the most messed up clips, PLCC clips, they have dip clips, lots of SOIC clips, um, we'll, we'll, and we'll show you the varieties, huge dip clips, I don't know, all sorts of like weird stuff. Um, PLCCs, PLCCs are not that common anymore, but I don't know, maybe if you're working in, uh, in some older industries or repair industries, these are handy. Uh, maybe for like parallel flash memory. These are so cool. Okay. But anyways, we're looking for SOIC, which there are, um, a couple and they do come in wider size if you're doing octal PSRAM, but let's just look for the active and in stock items. These are looking good. And one thing I want to mention is when you're looking for, well, first off, we want eight position. So let's just get that out of the way. One thing to watch for is SOICs come in two sizes. They, and this way I made this mistake in my life. Um, I once was like, oh, I'll get the 3M one. But the 3M one is actually only good for 0.5 inch body. And that's the smaller size SOIC. Let me show, maybe I can show the feather. Um, or maybe I'll look at the Metro M0. Now this is the wider 
this is the wider SOIC. I think maybe the feather M0 had the... Yeah. Okay. So this... This is the smaller SOIC. This is 0.5 inch. And then... I'll zoom in so you guys can compare and compare and contrast. And this is the wider one. And when you're looking for, this, this, oh yeah, okay. So if you're looking, um, yes, yeah, so you see this is like, it goes a little bit wider. It's actually like 0.2, sometimes like 0.25 inches. There's actually a couple different widths. Um, if your flash memory is two megabytes or below, often it will come in the, the smaller width. And if you're going four megabytes or above, or 16, 16 megabits or below is the thinner, sometimes 16, but usually 32 megabits or above, you're going to get the wide one. Also, you'll notice I made um, this, this SMT package can support either width. Um, when you get your test clip, I made this mistake. Don't get the one that's narrow that only supports point, point 0.15. You need to get the one, uh, yeah, the, the SYC body. Make sure you get one that is type, boop, that can do either. So let's select dash, but also dip. So there's a couple options. Um, Daddy Prog, I've never heard of these, but these look kind of good. I like the nice grips available. Muller, these look okay. But the most common is the Pomona, which is why you'll see there's like a trillion in stock. Um, so they do need a little bit of strength. The F3M ones need a lot of strength. You do need a little bit of, just be ready. You need to have a little bit of strength. And then, of course, you also want to connect onto here and use, you know, socket um, premium connectors to get to them. And you need clearance. They don't show you here. A little bit annoying. But see, it's like when you clip on, you need space both on the side and on the front. And so if you're clicking into an existing board, like you have some Wi-Fi router or something that you're dumping the flash off of, you may need to remove any, um, especially if they're not essential. So if you have bypass 0.1 microfarad caps are often really nearby you might have to remove those um, otherwise you end up crushing them or you won't be able to get the clip on and these little there's these little like teeth notches they need to get underneath the body you think you're clipped on but you're not until those like actually hug underneath the body and clip on i've i've like debugged many times and been like oh i'm debugging i think i'm debugging it turns out like the pin isn't actually connected on but I recommend this one. This one's good. And it's like less than 20 bucks. It's a good deal. You, maybe you don't need it today, but if you're putting together a cart, add this in because when you do need it, you're going to be really happy. I use, I've used this to program chips, debug in circuit, um, program flash chips, you know, raw on the fly. Very, very useful. And if you actually want to do the programming itself and you're like, oh, I don't want to... Um, like, you know, you have to have something you don't want to hook up in Arduino. Um, you know, a bus pirate. Which I think they have in stock. Yeah. So, a bus pirate 3 or bus pirate 5. Both of these. The bus pirate 5, I think, is the most recent. Um, you can pick this up and it will be let you use your computer to program or debug SPI flash. So... Pick this up from Pomona, a recommended SOIC test clip. And that is the great search. Where 